guys, my name is Rage and I've been streaming on Twitch since January 2017 and I get asked so many times, Rage, how do I start streaming? Well, I figured it'd be easy if I showed you exactly how to get started with streaming. I'll be covering four main topics, hardware, software, overlay and going live. Feel free to use these timestamps to skip to the part you're interested in. So let's start with hardware. What is the perfect PC for streaming? Well, that is really going to depend on your budget. And as a minimum, ideally you want to aim for a CPU with at least four cores, but ideally with eight or more. This would likely be an Intel i5 or i7 or an AMD Ryzen 5 or 7. This means that your CPU will have enough bandwidth to play games smoothly, while at the same time having the ability to do everything else in the background. Currently, I have an i7 with four cores, which has been fine up until recently, but as games are becoming more demanding, such as Apex Legends, I'm starting to get performance issues, so I'll be looking into upgrading very soon. Memory is not massively important as long as you have enough available. Aiming for 16 gigabytes should be more than enough for most cases, but it will depend on the games that you're playing. So check the game requirements and make sure you are over the recommended amount. A graphics card is pretty much essential for demanding games these days, but do try to bear in mind that there will be a small performance hit while streaming. Again, it's best to check the requirements of the games you want to play, and then make sure that your graphics card has more than the required. If not, then you may need to lower the graphical quality for a smoother streaming experience. Lastly, an SSD is a good investment if you don't already have one. Both gaming and streaming use drive space constantly, and an SSD will handle this no problem. But older style mechanical hard drives can struggle to keep up if asked to do both at the same time. Even just separating the two by having your games on a small SSD and then your streaming or recording on a mechanical drive will make a big difference to overall performance. Now, having said all this, not everybody uses their PC for playing and streaming. And if you're a console streamer, you can either connect your console to your PC and feed the gameplay directly into your streaming software, or you can stream directly through the console through their onboard streaming software. This is generally more limited than using a PC, however. To connect your console to your PC to capture the gameplay, you'll need a capture card like an Elgato HD60, which is a portable box that you can connect externally and it's useful for streamers on the go. We have guides on how to use the HD60 and other similar products. You can find those links in the description below. Lastly, if you want to create the best viewing experience, you should invest in an external microphone and a camera, whether that be a USB webcam or a professional camera with a HDMI output. Once again, depending on budget, there's endless options to better your stream, such as green screens, lighting, extra monitors, or even my favorite accessory, the Elgato Stream Deck. You can find out how I utilize that in the description box below. Now on to software. Streamlabs OBS is a fantastic tool for any streamer to use to get their content online. It's integrated with a bunch of helpful features like stream chat, recent events, overlay control, and a stream preview all under one roof. It's super easy to understand and simple to set up and a really effective software to use for streaming. This is what I use every day and I couldn't be more pleased with it. To get started, head to streamlabs.com and sign in with your active account. Download and install the Streamlabs OBS software at streamlabs.com forward slash streamlabs OBS. If you have an SSD, opt to install it on there as it will make the software run a lot quicker and more effectively. Next, open up Streamlabs OBS and sign in with your streaming account. I'm gonna be streaming to Twitch, so I'm signing in with my Twitch account, but you can also use this for Facebook gaming, Mixer and YouTube. From here, you have the option to import your previous OBS overlay if you used that prior, or you can start fresh and build a new overlay. Now your PC is going to optimize itself for its specifications and network capabilities, making sure that it gives you the best quality it can. Click start and let it do its thing. If you want to edit this or manually set it up, here's how you do it. Go to the output settings and set your bitrate according to what type of quality you're streaming at. 
So for 1080p 60 frames per second, your bit rate should be 4,500 to 6,000 kilobytes per second. 1080p 30 frames per second should be 3,500 to 5,000 kilobytes a second. 720p 60 frames per second, your bit rate should be 3,500 to 5,000 kilobytes per second. And finally, 720p to 30 frames per second, your bit rate should be between 2,500 and 4,000 kilobytes a second. This highly depends on your internet connection. However, a lot of it is trial and error. So if you're experiencing a lot of buffer on your stream, the likely factor is that it's your ISP and it won't let you stream at that bit rate. So you need to turn it down. Next, head to video and select your base canvas. This is what you see and select it as 1080p. Next, head to the output resolution and FPS type, which is what your stream sees and select according to your ISP. Bear in mind that higher quality isn't always better. If you're streaming as an affiliate on Twitch, you won't get encoding options and your viewers will not be able to decrease the quality of your stream, which means you're ultimately condemning them to buffering and lagging if their ISP can't handle it. So keep your audiences in mind. Sometimes a crisp quality non-laggy stream is better than a full HD 1080p 60fps stream. Once that's done, click done, and now you're ready to create your overlay. An overlay is based from three slides, a pre-screen, a live screen, and an ending screen. These slides are used by all professional streamers, so I'll show you exactly how to create really awesome looking ones with minimal effort. You can either download your own theme from the theme store free of charge, which will save you from either commissioning an overlay or make it one yourself, or you can create your own overlay via Photoshop or similar image creation programs. I'm going to show you how to create an overlay using images you already have. Add a source by clicking on the plus button and select what you want to add. To add a background, choose image and then select your image. Drag the source and resize it using the guide. Crop it down by holding the Alt key. If snap clicks are providing too fiddly for you, you can turn it off or adjust the sensitivity of it in the settings. Here, you can also change the size of your canvas if the default one isn't what you want. Add your webcam in as a source via the same method by clicking video capture device. You can also adjust your webcam settings in here, including filters and resolution. Repeat the process for each overlay you want to add into your scene. Now you can add your widgets. Choose between the range that Slobs includes, like the tip jar, the donation goal, a sponsor banner, chat box, etc. Or you can add your own website hosted third party widgets by selecting browser source. To add stream labels like recent follower, select the plus icon and choose stream label. Here you can customize what you show and what it looks like. Don't forget to add your alert box, that's really important, as well as your game capture. Now you've created your own overlay for streaming, you may want to check out your alerts too. Go to your Streamlabs dashboard and select alert box. Here you can customize your alerts by choosing the font style, the text, the sound, the image and duration. Alternatively, you can choose a free asset pack on the Streamlabs theme store. So you've got your equipment, you've got your software, you've got your overlays, now it's time to go live. When you're ready, select go live in the bottom right hand corner, enter your details for the stream title, the game you're playing and the tags, then hit confirm and go live. Your stream will start immediately. View your dashboard and keep an eye on all your metrics by going to twitch.tv forward slash dashboard. Here you can view everything you need to monitor your stream. The best thing about streaming with Streamlabs OBS is that you don't need multiple windows open to monitor your stream and chat. You can see pretty much everything you need to, like your stream preview, live actions, and editor, without having to click between tabs. It's simple, easy to use, and very easy to understand. So there you have it, everything you need to know to go live. I hope I've mentioned everything, but if I have missed something, be sure to let me know in the comments box below. If you have enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you on Twitch.